Ans is learning to play with his cousins again, but the night brings nightmares. He survived the militant attack on his school in Peshawar, but saw his mother, who was a teacher, die in it. His father, a surgeon, was busy saving other injured children's lives when his own son was brought in, bringing news that his wife was dead. He's still too numb to talk his son through his grief, and Ans is too terrified to feel loss. He thinks the militants will come back. I'm afraid. I'm even afraid to leave my home, because even now people are saying, I don't know if it's a rumor or true. Someone was saying 400 terrorists have come to Peshawar. The surviving children are being treated by doctors, but their wounds are more than just skin deep. Exposed to a constant stream of media and visitors, the children have not yet come to terms with what happened. Experts say the brief counseling sessions offered by an under-resourced hospital may not be enough and the consequences dangerous. They will have adverse effect on the, their development, their achievement in future life. It may lead to a retaliation, feeling of aggression and frustration in aggression. And it may be directed to in a violent behavior in one way or another. Now the city has gone on a high security alert. School walls are being raised like fortresses, but school remains closed. Sheer Alam is a teacher who has started teaching children at his home so they won't miss their studies. But more than lessons, the children need counseling. Sheer Alam tells me they are now afraid to go to school. Element of fear is, is, is increasing in children and kids. They are feared to go to school, they, they identify school with a fearful place, for example, mm -hmm. and uh, they, their activities have been limited. Mm -hmm. Even if they go to school, they are not allowed to open in, to go to, in, even, they, they cannot even uh, hold the morning assemblies that they had used to be. Students were taking their exam here in a school just a few minutes away from the attacked one. When they heard the explosions, they were evacuated. They haven't returned since. It's not just the bombs and bullets that define Pakistan's conflict against militancy here in the front line for these children. They're constantly in fear, exposed to death and destruction. In a tribal society that does not encourage giving voice to fears and feelings, just how high a price the country pays may only be clear years from now, when a generation of traumatized children become equally traumatized adults. Sabah Tazaz, BBC News, Peshawar.